Hey there, I'm Felicia with Compass Land USA, your go-to resource for great deals on rural and vacant land. I'm here to share with you today a brand new property in southwestern Colorado. If you have any questions about this property, leave a comment below and I'll reply with your answer and help you out. So you can see this property on our website, compasslandusa.com with the title, 2.73 acres, RVOK in Forbes Park, Costilla County, Colorado. So we have some great pictures of the property. These are pictures of the actual property and the road leading up to it. So let's click to go through. Okay, so here we have pictures of the actual property. Um, we got them taken a couple weeks ago, the end of spring, so there is still some snow kicking around. But you can see you have great dirt road access, lots of big trees. You'd have to actually clear if you wanted to build a cabin, but small cost to pay to live in the middle of all that. Really great location. And if you keep scrolling through, I know it's kind of hard to see because the trees can be kind of dense here. But if you keep scrolling through, you will come across an overhead image, overhead map rather. Right here. So overhead map, this is right from the county's website. It just kind of gives you um, an outline of the property. So you can see 2.73 acres, lots of road frontage, goes pretty deep, lots of trees kicking around as you saw. That's just zooming out a little bit. And here we have a polygon 3D image for you, kind of helps get a feel for the boundaries, corners, stuff like that. So the elevation is just over 10,000 feet. And you've got that there. Okay, so now just a little bit about the area. So property uses in Costilla County, camping and RV is a go. So it's a really great spot to do that. Um, it's kind of tucked away in a valley as we'll see in a few minutes. So camping and RV is a go. They both have um, continuous period restrictions on them, but like for camping, if you do your 21 days continuously and then you leave for a couple days, you should be able to come back and do more if you wanted. Mobile home is also a go here, as is just like a regular home, manufactured home or cabin. So Fort Garland is the closest town. It's gonna have all of your basic amenities like gas station, uh, liquor store, post office, general store. Um, Blanca is just a little bit farther up the road from Fort Garland. They have more of your basic amenities as well as like a cafe, which apparently is really good breakfast. And these are some of the typical climate patterns you can expect in Costilla County. So each year on average, you're looking at 285 sunny days, 12 inches of rain and 56 inches of snow. So, then on the chart below, we have lows for the summer and winter months for you. Okay, Forbes Park is in a really cool spot of south southwestern Colorado. It's kind of like tucked away in its own valley surrounded by mountain peaks. There is a lake in the park, Forbes Park Lake, you can see here. Now looking northeast, standing in the middle of Forbes Park, you can see North Peak. Then if you spin to the northwest, you can see Blanca Peak, Mount Lindsay, and Slide Mountain. And then spinning around to the southwest, you have Teddy's Peak and Raspberry Mountain. Okay, so it is really, it's tucked away in that really cool spot, valley, mountain peaks. It's very picturesque, very Colorado. So bird's eye view places and roads. Fort Garland is just up the road population 430-ish. Um, Blanca is kind of a similar state just up the road from Fort Garland. We have some highways identified for you there and then Wolfsonburg going up US Highway 160 uh, northeast. You can again you'll hit Wolfsonburg population there is around 3,000. Zooming out a little bit more so from Fort Garland to Alamosa uh, you're looking at around 28 miles and Alamosa is going to be your closest city let's call it Sm bigger bigger town smaller city um, and we'll jump to them in a second pueblo is 97.3 miles away and colorado springs is 140 miles away so alamosa is going to have everything that fort garland won't 
including um, Big Box, which we'll get to in a second. So this is Main Street. They have lots of shops and services. Adam State University is here. And okay, so the Big Box. You have places like Walmart, Safeway, Ace Hardware, and of course, a Mountain Sports Store. Nearby national and state parks. So from Fort Garland to Great Sand Dunes National Park, you're looking at 29.7 miles. And from Fort Garland to Rio Grande National Forest, you're looking at 84.5 miles. So Great Sand Dunes National Park has just over 149,000 acres, including the tallest sand dune peaks in North America, hitting heights of 750 feet. So some popular activities here include camping, obviously sandboarding and sand sledding, off-roading and stargazing. Rio Grande National Forest is a bit farther away, but definitely worth checking out. There's so much to explore here. There's over 1.86 million acres, um, and that gives you a really diverse landscape as well, ranging in elevations from 7,600 feet all the way up to mountain peaks at 14,000 feet. Some popular activities here include mountain biking, camping, hiking and walking trails, and skiing. So there's no hunting allowed directly on the property, but you have really easy nearby access to hundreds of thousands of acres of public lands. So Fort Garland is in GMU 83. It's outlined in green on the screen for you here. Some species you can expect to find here include elk, deer, turkey, and black bear. These are some popular trailheads near Forbes Park. Um, this is from all trails, so you can see East Spanish Peak, Dyke Trail, and Teddy's Peak. And again, these are all accessible right from inside within Forbes Park. So it's a really cool spot, lots of nature stuff to do, lots of mountain peaks to explore. Skiing, I believe the closest ski resort to Forbes Park is Wolf Creek. It's 90.2 miles away. And they have a little something for everyone. So they have a bunch of runs ranging in difficulty levels. Um, they also, I believe, do cat skiing and cross country skiing. So jumping back over to the website listing, under the pictures, you'll see property videos, just some boots on the ground, kind of gives you a sense that pictures can't provide of the surrounding area. We have a map with the exact property location. You can see um, there is trail access for Raspberry Mountain Peak somewhere along here. So that's a pretty cool feature as well, very close to your property. Now, if you keep scrolling, you'll come to pricing. So my team here works really hard to make it safe and simple for you to buy land. We normally only have one of every property in our inventory, and we do sell all of our properties on a first come first serve basis. So you can see the discounted cash price for this property is $15,999 and all of our properties are sold with a free and clear title. It's guaranteed with every property we sell so you don't have to worry about any outstanding dues, back taxes, none of that. Um, so that's the free and clear title. We have our discounted cash price and then we have three owner financing plans for you to choose from. And you can see we do try to make these plans approachable for a, a variety of budgets. Um, they range in down payments from $31.99 down to $15.99, and the monthly payment as well as the length of term varies as well. So let's say you love this property, you want to make it yours, you can either choose to do the discounted cash price or to get things started with owner financing. So let's say you wanted to kick off the discounted cash price, you'll come to this secure checkout page where you only are submitting the documentation fee here. So normally for properties, I think it's over 10,000, um, you're only doing the doc fee regardless of which method you choose. So if you're gonna do cash for this property, it's just the doc fee. If you're gonna do owner financing for this property, it's also just the doc fee, but choosing the buttons accordingly lets us know which method you're interested in. So this is a one-time doc fee. You only pay it once, it's $249, then you're done. 
So you come over to our secure checkout page, punch in your contact information, um, and then a secure or a debit or credit card of your choosing. And then you hit complete order and that's it. Uh, your work is done. All you have to do is watch for an email that should come from us within a few minutes of you hitting that complete order button. Um, and it'll just say, hey, we got your payment. Someone from our team will reach out to you within 24 hours to let you know what the next steps for your new property are. So under pricing, you'll see some important property details like the address, parcel number, um, some county offices, legal description. So there are no utilities to this property. Um, power would be by alternate source like solar or generator. That's why this property is kind of a great option for camping and RVing, especially if you don't plan on building on it for a long time, you can still make use of it until then. Uh, property taxes are only 88 bucks a year, pretty cheap. You saw the dirt road access coming in. This property is in an HOA, it's Forbes Park HOA. The annual dues are 275 a year. Um, and those dues kind of help keep the area private because this is actually a gated area. You can't access it unless you live there or you're a landowner there. So it kind of helps preserve the area and keep it beautiful. And they actually use some of those fees to do road and snow road maintenance and snow removal as well. So if you have any questions about this property while you're on our website, you can call this number here. That's 313. 349-0434 and that's going to get you on the phone with Andrew, my partner and co-owner and he'll be happy to answer any property questions or financing questions that you might have. While you're on the website, you can choose to leave your email address in one of these form boxes here and that's going to get you on our VIP list. This is a great place to be because you first you get a weekly inventory email. So the VIPs always know exactly what properties we have in our inventory, even if they're not posted on the website. And two, you get a weekly land deal. So every week we email out um, discounts on our properties that we do not advertise to the general public. So you can save some money on your next land purchase. If you're new to our channel, you can learn a little bit more about who we are by checking out our testimonial section on our website to see what other people have had to say in their own words of what it was like to work with us at Compass Land USA. If you enjoyed this video, please um, give it a like, leave a comment, say hello. I do love to hear from you guys. Um, and as always, subscribe to the channel. That way you're the very first to know when a new property tour video is published or when a new land blog video is published. If you have any questions about this property, just leave a comment below and I'll reply with your answer and help you out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon.